You might be able to tell from the winter wonderland that uh, we are driving through right now, we got snow. And when we get snow, you know what time it is? It's time to do some all season tire testing, right? Or all weather tire. So we've got the Taurus, 2015 Taurus with Cross Climate 2s on here. Uh, we have done some comparison testing with this tire. We've done some We've done some comparison testing with this tire. We've done review on this tire. And now what we're doing is checking on uh, how the tire does after some miles, right? So every tire probably can do its best job when it's brand new. Where you really find out how good a tire it is is when you've got some miles on the units. When, you know, not all the tread is there. And so uh, we are taking it out and we'll put, put the, uh, mileage on the screen, how many miles we have on these tires, and I'll also put what the current uh, tread uh, situation is, how many 30 seconds of an inch we have. Uh, but you can see, we've got uh, some pretty significant snow, and uh, you know this, this has had plows through, but there is still some, uh, some uh, areas where uh, it's not super friendly. Uh, because of uh, how much snow we got and such, so. Sorry about that, we had a car, car had to, <laughs> we don't have all the road width that we normally do because of the snow. It, you know, plows have been through, but they haven't done a fantastic job yet, and I'm, I'm not blaming them because uh, quite honestly, there was a lot of snow, and so they've, they've done their first pass, but you can see some of the roads are, are on the narrow side, right? So if we go and you know kind of dig in here to some of this deep snow, uh, and, and I'll show you back and forth between the, the video that we've got going on on uh, top of the car, and we've got the, uh, the 360 camera that we're using to give you an idea of what we're going through, but there's, uh, there's been some snow. We had about uh, 12, to 14 inches total in the last uh, five days or so. Uh, three days off of school uh, because of uh, the weather we've had. And it is bitter cold. Uh, you can't see it right now, but my car thermometer is reading minus nine. Uh, and that's not the wind chill, that is just the temperature, uh, minus nine. So not only did we get snow, but uh, we got, we got some, some cold weather here. So anyway, I wanted to take uh, the Taurus out for a drive. We're gonna do the same thing in the van. The van has more miles uh, on it. My wife puts more while, miles every year on her car than I do as well. Uh, she's had the tires longer. So between those two factors, uh, we'll, we'll get an a idea of where she's at for miles on those tires. We'll put that up there, where she's at for tread life. And we'll also talk about how the car does um, in that situation, the miles, the tread life, and uh, this this weather uh, that we've had blow in. So I don't know if you can tell, but um, we're kind of just tearing through everything. Now, mind you, you know we're not going through deep snow. I'm kind of intentionally catching some of this stuff. Uh, it does slow me down a bit, but um, I'll tell you, I, the, the tires are doing uh, probably about as well as they did when we first got them. I just slipped there, but we're going uphill on snowpack and ice. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but there's some ice underneath because uh, this whole storm system started as uh, rain and uh, some of that rain kind of froze a bit. And then, then it turned into uh, snow uh, multiple days. And uh, we've also had heavy winds. You might be able to see that the, the uh, wind is just blowing the snow all over the place. As a matter of fact, it blew the sign off of that house. Uh, <laughs> there's a for sale sign on there and the, the sign's been blown partially off. Uh, but here's some nice deep snow. We're just going to kind of plow right through that. Uh, and there, here's a huge drift and that's one of the things we've been dealing with is, is the drifts in the snow. We'll just kind of intentionally kind of catch this. Uh, and <laughs> we are... <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to... Whoa. That's actually not the road there. That, actually, maybe it is the road and the grass just got kind of 
churned up from uh, when they plowed. But uh, I'll tell you, this is this is a little bit of fun. Uh, you know, if you if you live in a northern climate, you're used to the snow. Sometimes you're just in the mood to to get out there and and uh, have a little fun in the snow. Nothing wrong with that as long as you're safe. So I'm just driving around the neighborhood. Um, the neighborhood, like I said, it's been plowed once, but uh, and some of the neighbors kind of done some extra plowing. We because we, we're in a uh, an acreage neighborhood. A lot of the neighbors have some pretty nice uh, toys for removing the snow. So uh, not going to complain about that because they've they've helped me out a tremendous amount. Uh, with uh, with getting some of that snow moved around. I have a blade on a John Deere tractor. The problem with a blade is when you get this much snow, you run out of places to put it, and uh, there's only, you know, so much weight that that tractor can push, uh, and you can't can't find places to get it where you need to. So it, it was tough, plus that ice is uh, difficult on a two-wheel drive tractor. So, uh, and it is a lawn and garden tractor, lawn and garden tractor, not, not uh, you know, like a true farm tractor or anything like that. So I think that's probably going to do it for the tourist drive. I mean, love love the way that uh, these tires are still performing. Uh, again, we'll put the miles on there, and Keith and I and I will talk about uh, you know my thoughts on it, his thoughts after uh, reviewing the video. But you can see I'm going to have to stop here. I'm going to have to go up a hill. I'm going to have to go through some deeper snow that was uh, kind of cross plowed, uh, and I'm getting a little stuck. But guess what? Um, I went through about four to five inches, maybe six inches of snow there that had been, uh, you know, pretty, pretty uh, deep trenched and uh, had to kind of cut across the way it was plowed and uh, took a little effort, but we got there. And that's, that's really what these tires are about is, is uh, making sure that you make it to your destination when the weather is like this. Right, so you know they're probably telling people to stay off the roads right now. But if you got to go someplace or you get caught in a storm like this, it's good to know you have tires that that can help you get through these things um, and and make it to your destination safely. So, uh, thanks again for uh, joining me on this test drive. And uh, next we're going to take the 2011. Honda Odyssey out, uh, and I find it actually does even better in the snow than my Taurus does. And it's it's probably that extra weight that the uh, the van has. But uh, we're going to take that out in the snow and uh, do a similar test drive, probably around uh, a very similar track. Uh, all right, thank you.